video I'm going to show you our half inch 20 UNF suppressor. Uh, this one is much like many of our others. The big difference though is that it is printed from polycarbonate plastic and uh, that's it's a little more expensive and uh, much much tougher and uh, and it's a little bit glossier finish but as far as the internals goes it still has the cone shaped baffles and expansion chamber and one other big difference is it has a insert, uh, st a stainless steel helical insert in there for threads. So, uh, so it's first 3D printed threads that are printed in the right profile, and then I chase it with a SDI half inch 20 tap, and I insert afterwards uh, this little stainless steel helical insert uh, with this tool. I do that by hand. Uh, myself at home and uh, ship them from my home and everything as well of course but uh, in this video I'm going to test this out on the 2240 XL which is in 22 caliber and I'm also going to test it out on the Walter Paris I whenever I made this the, this was the gun that I that I designed it for was the Walter Paris and so I had to make it make sure it was tough this is a really really loud gun definitely in my opinion not suitable for backyard shooting in like a close neighborhood um, but uh, and the 2240 XL isn't all that bad, but, uh, but you'll notice how big of a difference it makes in just a minute whenever I test it. Uh, this has only had a couple shots fired in it. This is on, this is a brand new gun. The one that I had before uh, had uh, the adjust adjustable stock on it, the Murphy mount with the bipod, the suppressor, and red dot, and I gave that to my nephew. So I was waiting for this to come in before I uh, did this video, and it just came in an hour or so ago. So, so I'll go ahead and get on with it. Uh, it has this cap on the threads here. I was just about to take that off, but I forgot I need to keep it on. But it has this cap on the threads, and whenever you install it, you'll take that cap off and uh, put, the, put the suppressor on. Go ahead and put a 22 pellet in here. I'm just going to shoot it into the ground so that you don't hear any noise from whatever it hits. And you can do a, a better one-for-one -one comparison. If it's hard to thread on, then it's probably cross-threaded and you need to back out immediately. It should be really easy to thread on. And snugs up at the last last little bit there. Alright. So there you go. It uh, first time that I put this on the air gun and tested it out, I thought that maybe I didn't have any CO2. And uh, went to take the CO2 cap off and uh, realized that it, there's plenty of CO2 in there. It's just super quiet. It works really good. Now for the Walter Paris. This one has an automatic safety on it. Go ahead and fire this thing you'll hear it reverberate throughout the neighborhood and all and uh, definitely don't like to shoot this one without a suppressor in my backyard did I put a bullet in it I didn't put a bullet in it dang it let's do that it does make a little bit of a difference try that again You hear it's a lot sharper crack, but it reverberates throughout the neighborhood, no less. This one has a uh, little thread protector cap on the half inch 20 threads as well. Take that off and thread on the suppressor. A lot of folks have pointed out or asked because they see in the picture they see the end of the Walter Paris with the uh, front sight post a little cage over the front sight post and they think that the suppressor is in, uh, includes a front sight post so uh, just something to note it does not include a front sight post if I put a front sight post on the suppressor it would spin all around and then no telling where it ends up at the end uh, there's no way for me to make sure that the uh, front sight post ends up in the right spot 
without some sort of uh, little adjustable spacer or something, you know, and, and I'm just trying to make a cheap suppressor, so, uh, so, and I don't think that that would be in keeping with that goal. I'll put it all together at the end so you can hear them side by side. Oh, there you go. It's pretty, it's a very, very loud gun, and, uh, and there's, there's almost no report uh, with the suppressor on. You can hear the action in the gun and everything, you know, but, but otherwise, as far as the whole, you know, reverberating throughout the neighborhood and everything, you, you really don't hear any of that at all. And, uh, and all the noise you hear, you know, down, down here, not, at the, not from the report. So. so there it is. Thanks for watching.